at the time I was kind of wrote that piece, I was kind of in a bit of a dialogue or argument with an emerging thing that was sort of saying the, be the best thing about Jamaican music is dub effects and dub tricks. And these have migrated into all these other forms of music. And I was sort of trying to argue that actually, you know, it's really, uh, it can be used by other people in interesting ways, but it's really embedded in Jamaican music and Jamaican culture. And, you know, um, it's, that's where it, it's richest is where you have the song, but it's sort of perforated mm -hmm. and by dub effects and kind of yeah. turned, it, it goes in and out of melody and it's this sort of ethereal waft of sound. Uh, and I felt like, you know, people, uh, it got to the point where people just entirely saw it as a, as a sort of vocabulary of sound effects and not the fact that most dub music was bound up with music that was this militant yeah. political prophecy calling down Babylon and and um, complaining about sufferation and downpression and all this stuff, you know. And that's the stuff that I found the most, um, even though I'm not a Rasta, that I found most electrifying is where yeah. Dub was working with that sort of element, yeah. the element of, uh, of calling down injustice, you know.